Hi, MJ. I'm Lauren Allen. I'm this year's student body president, in case you didn't know. Um, and there's just a lot coming up in September that I want to make sure everyone was aware of. Firstly, there is going to be a homecoming dance this year following the homecoming day game on September 27th. Um, that's something we haven't done in years past, so we're really excited to be starting to plan that. And that means that the theme for this game is going to be homecoming. This is something that's normal for other high schools that do homecoming games, but because our school has been somewhat deprived of normal high school activities in the past. We don't necessarily understand that, but you can definitely ask any of your teachers what that means and they'll be able to tell you. The homecoming theme for the game means that you'll show up to the game in your attire for the dance or with a change of clothes to go to the dance afterwards. Um, so there's not gonna be a set theme like there usually is like luau or jersey. You're gonna go in your clothes for the dance. Um, the tickets for the dance are going to be $5 with your ticket stub from the football game or $8 if you don't have that ticket stub. Um, and of course, if you're a cheerleader, football player, band member, you will get the discounted ticket as well. Uh, something we're also going to be doing this year is going to be making the court of the homecoming make feel extra special. Usually they just get presented at the football game and that's it but they're also going to have a place in the student section this year to preside over the game. So it's going to be extra special. And that's something that other high schools do as well. Another thing we just haven't understood because of our um, only having prom. So another new thing this year that some people have heard about and have had a lot of questions about is there is going to be 15 members of the homecoming court. It's going to be three for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, and then six for seniors. How that's going to work for the parade is, because it's obviously not economically or environmentally feasible to have 15 cars, there's going to be one car for freshmen, one car for sophomores, and one car for juniors. So your dates will not be in the parade. Um, I know that is maybe disappointing, but your dates will be in the game with you. They're going to be escorting you still before the game, but they just won't be in the parade with you. And of course, for seniors, we're not going to put six of you in one car. There's going to be two of you in one car. Um, so seniors will get three cars total. This should make it easier making arrangement to find a rental for the homecoming. And um, this should make it easier for all the members of court as well, splitting costs and everything. So uh, it, you might be disappointed at first, but honestly, this is going to make the week smoother for you because finding arrangements for the homecoming parade has always been harder than finding a dress per se. So um, you might not like that now, but it's going to be better. Don't worry. Uh, the final vote for the court is going to be September 3rd. That is the Tuesday after we get back from the long weekend for Labor Day. Is that what that is? Yes, Labor Day. <laughs> so uh, only the senior class is going to vote for the actual queen. Everyone's going to vote on September 3rd for the final court. So we're voting for the first nominees the day this is being filmed. So on Tuesday. And then we're going to vote for the final court on... September 3rd and then the senior class will be voting for the Queen. So normally the whole school votes for the Queen but only the senior class will be voting for the Queen this year. We're also going to be doing a fundraiser the week of homecoming. The fundraiser this year is going to be called Cents for Scholarships. Um, we're going to be collecting loose change and dollar bills if you wish to contribute during the mornings and afternoons in the commons and these it's going to be a competition amongst classes as it always is, and uh, all of this money is going to go towards the scholarship funds for clubs that are schools that go on trips. So um, clubs like HOSA, Youth and Government, um, FBLA, do they go? Yes, FBLA, um, any club that goes on trips, they're going to get a portion of the money. And of course, this competition is going to go towards calculating who wins the spirit stick at the end of the week. So make sure you're participating and encouraging your friends to participate. Uh, we are really excited about this fundraiser because it's something that actually impacts people at our school. We don't want cost to be an, a barrier to why people can't participate in certain clubs. So we're excited to start this fundraiser. The spirit stick will be calculated based on, of course, fundraiser participation and dress down participation, which leads me to the dress down themes of that week. So the overarching theme for homecoming week is Disney. It's very loosely themed, but that means that the dress down themes are Marvel Monday, so dress up as your favorite Marvel character, Tweedledee and Tweedledum Tuesday, so twin day, Disney Wednesday, Monsters University Thursday, so that's gonna be college gear, jerseys, um, you can interpret that how you want. 
and then black and gold Friday, as we always dress up in black and gold on Friday. And then another exciting new thing this year is going to be that teachers are going to have the opportunity to de decorate their doors. This is going to be a competition. They don't have to participate, but if they choose to, we're going to give out first, second, and third place prizes to the teachers with the best decorated doors. And it's really going to be fun for people who are visitors to our school that week. Um, they're going to know it's homecoming. In the past, if you walked in our school during homecoming week, it would just seem like any other week. But this year, we want people to come into our school and know that this week is special to us. And because this is the last year for our, us to be able to have a parade, we're going to make it extra big and extra special this year. So make sure you're just being in the spirit and having lots of fun, making the best of it. Because I know you might think, well, I'm too cool for this, but you're not too cool. It's always fun to participate. And even if you don't want to participate, Student Council and Cora and I are working very hard on all of this. So try to make the best of it. Um, finally, this is very important. Senior pranks have to be approved by the administration. If you do a senior prank, but it hasn't been approved, you will get in trouble. That is all that I have. Student Council meets Tuesday morning. Please come. <laughs>